Uh, the prayers started in 1960 and tonight they've paid off. Detroit's most storied priest, Father Solanus Casey, is beatified. And that in fact puts Casey, who started the Capuchin Soup Kitchen, one step away from sainthood. Rod Maloney is here now to tell us about the Good Father's life and how the news has also brought some of the Catholic faithful here in Metro Detroit to tears. He was a poor Irish farm kid from Wisconsin, one of 16 children. He was a logger, a prison guard, a trolley conductor, and then priest. He came to Detroit, and now he's on his way to becoming a saint. You're looking at Father Solanus's tomb. He died in 1957. Ever since, Metro Detroiters have come here praying to the humble Capuchin father for help and healing. They leave petitions on small slips of paper, and it's in this very spot that the Vatican says a miracle happened. Father David Proust explains how a woman's genetic skin disease disappeared. The medical doctors in their home country, Detroit and Rome, all attested that there was no scientific explanation for the cure. Father Casey played the violin, though not especially well, say his fellow friars. It was his quiet, calming ways expressing his faith that so electrified the poor and the hungry. His grandniece, Sister Anne Herkenrath, met him only once, but said for all the fame that came with his healing powers. There was nothing outstanding about him. He would, and he, he acted so normally that I forgot that he was you know, a holy person. Father Solana spent 21 years in Detroit and took the first step towards sainthood in 1995 when Pope John Paul II declared him venerable. As for beatification. It's overwhelming. I, I'm, in, I'm, I'm very grateful. Uh, I am really in awe of, of all of this. The final step to sainthood is called canonization. But Father Solanus needs another miracle approved by the Vatican and that could take several more years. In Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4. It's an astonishing road that they've been on for a long time trying to make this happen. He would become the first ever American-born right. male saint if it were to, become, to get to that. And Rod talked about that a little bit earlier today. I love how his family says he just acted so normally yeah, yeah. that you would forget he was a holy, holy <laughs> He is a, right? a saint even, right? yes, indeed.